total. These women rule the pool in Rio. Please welcome these medal winning superstars from the Olympic swim team. We've got Penny Alexiak, we have got Brittany McLean, we have got Michelle Williams, and we have got Sandrine Mainville. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for getting up so early for us because I know you've had a grueling time and you thought you could sleep but no we need to celebrate <laughs> ladies it's a huge huge win congratulations how does all this fanfare feel we're excited i mean it's <laughs> nice most a few of us are from toronto and like i grew up watching bt every morning so doing things like this we're happy to wake up we really loved you Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> she needs a poop hat <laughs> she's our favorite um, yeah. have oh. you have you slept at all have you slept at all yet when you got home, getting home i think like in three weeks, I haven't slept for more than like six or seven hours. And like for an athlete, it's not a lot. I mean, no. for like a, an adult or like someone who goes to work, they would be like, oh no, that's enough. But I mean, for us, we used to sleep for like nine to 10 hours a day. Wow. So yeah, we're pretty tired right now, but well, we listen, like to do it. It didn't affect the results, right? We kind of had a dry spell and all of a sudden here, you ladies come and we get six medals in seven days. How did it feel to accomplish that? And a lot of people say it's the Pan Am halo effect that you were able to practice most of you together for a long time in that professional type setting and pool. Do you think that gave you an advantage? Um, well, that kind of gave us the feel of how much support we really do have. Um, having a home games in Toronto, having being able to compete in front of a home crowd, feeling the cheers and feeling the support from other Canadians. So that kind of got us really excited just to go out and sort of do the same thing um, in another country. And and it, it was really fun. <laughs> and Michelle, you're getting married in a few months. Yeah. Been moving. Yeah, I just in the process of moving right now. I have a few days to get all my stuff out. <laughs> oh my goodness! So you have so, the dress. You have so a venue. yeah, right when I got home, I've been I've just been moving. Yeah, dress was the first thing I got. Venue, everything is good to go. <laughs> and we love how you literally have each other's back. So, Sandrine, talk to us about the fact that first of all, talk about dedication and sacrifice from Montreal. You've spent pretty much the last two years here training and even helping your friend Penny with French because you were finishing your grade 10, <laughs> right? French yeah. class. So, is it does it feel like a sisterhood have you loved your stay here in Toronto yeah well I was just saying the first year was a little bit out of my comfort zone but then I started to be a little bit more comfortable and I got to know these amazing ladies and I developed a friendship and now it's kind of hard to go back to Montreal Aww. like I told myself two years ago oh, you'll do it it's just two years and then you come you go back but then now I'm here and I just want to stay <laughs> <laughs> what is it like going from people you know you, you guys must feel like normal people but you you are not in a, in a way you guys are superhuman to us and and over the course of two weeks you've gone from regular everyday people to Olympic medalists heroes. and heroes what what's that what has that feel does it change when you wake up in the morning do you kind of look differently in the mirror and go holy smokes my life has changed in a matter of hours well I mean to me honestly it hasn't really hit me yet I think um, having so much success and just like winning medals every day bang 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 it didn't really feel like we were at the Olympics it just kind of and that's like all we have all the girls to thank for that it just made it kind of feel like it was normal mm -hmm. and now that we're back everyone's like telling us how great we are and it's just it's weird and it's kind of finally starting to set in a little bit but and I, I know Brittany it's only a couple of days until you go back to school in Georgia how is it different there in terms of the climate for athletes have you noticed a difference between you know Canada versus USA in terms of funding training and support yeah it's definitely a little bit different um, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do stuff there um, I definitely think that was best for my training environment and it was great to compete against some of the best in the world but I'm glad I could be home this week. Uh, like I said, I grew up in Toronto, and it's nice to do some stuff here and be around these girls one more time. And when we were away at the Olympics, you didn't necessarily, you could feel the love from Canada, but like she said, it didn't really feel like, okay, we're Olympic medalists now, but being home and getting to do these things. And someone asked me yesterday if I met any cool celebrities. I was like, well, I know Penny Alexia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we got to talk about the Penny Parade, which <laughs> Penny hates, by the way, hates this. So there is a parade, and it starts at 11 a.m., uh, and this is, I believe, on Sunday, East Lynn Park from 12 to 2. Um, but they're calling it the Penny Parade, but Penny, you hate that, because it's for everybody. I don't hate the parade. No. I, <laughs> I hate that. I, I, I just think that it, sh it should be celebrating all Olympians, and, like, everyone who medaled their final, and 
even went to the games and just tried their hardest to <laughs> just do their best. I, I just, I feel like it shouldn't just be focused around me. So modest and humble and Very only Canadian. 16 and, you know, being able to carry the flag at the closing ceremonies. Yeah. You get Drake tweeting at you. Talk about being a part of the <laughs> six, right? Yeah. Like not only representing Canada, but Drake said, hey, if ever you want tickets, I'll hook you up. Yeah. And we did mention Tim Hortons, which is our sponsor. It fuels us every day. I think you've earned a platter each at least. Oh. Release the nice. donuts! <laughs> Release the... Oh. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> For your appetites, ladies, you inspire oh, all, all of the young women right out there who want to be here. Don't be shy now. Okay, so what we didn't tell you is in order to actually win the poop hat, we're going to have an eating contest. No one will do it. No, we're not. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest. And thank, thank you so much for representing our country thank so you well. Thank you. You're incredible <laughs> athletes. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Just, 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 you can smell it, right? You can smell it. We wanted to do a, mm -hmm. a contest for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah.